Hi, everyone. Jedi Joy here. It is Tuesday, April 28th. So, breaking news. Uh, there were some arrests made at the Al Giant Stadium. Um, you know, the Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas, the Raiders Stadium. There's been all kinds of crazy things that have happened, you know, over the last couple of years with the stadium. We've been talking about it a lot. Um, and if I, go to our YouTube. Our YouTube, is, we do a lot of Raiders stuff. It's Jedi Rich Creative Producer. But the news today is that the FBI is involved in this, that so there has been some huge theft involved. Um, and they arrested some people, like the FBI and everything, and there were some undercover cops I know for a while, and then we went there the other day, and there were some actual uh, posted cops all around us, so we were like, what's going on? And in the past, they'd had some incidences where some things were stolen. Parts of the roof were stolen a uh, ways back, and held as ransom. Uh, when these guys were mad, when there was some... Um, they were arguing over, you know, some stuff with the roof, and so then one of the crews just held part of it for ransom, and just crazy stuff like that. But this time around, they're saying uh, it might be the garb, some guys involved with the garbage um, bins or something like that, and then. I guess they were taking parts and bringing it, and they found it up in North Las Vegas, so it had been going on for a while. Like, they'd just been, like, taking some parts, you know, and bringing it to somewhere else and selling it or using it to, for another site or something. I don't know what it is in North Las Vegas where they found it. But um, so this has been going on for a long time. So that's why the FBI was involved and everything. But it's crazy because this stadium has just been, like, one thing after the next. And um, I guess there was some uh, videos of the arrest on social media, and then they were immediately taken down or something. So I wish we'd been out there to get some of this footage, but uh, I was sleeping, so I didn't know. But this is crazy because, um, as you guys know, the Raiders Stadium was allowed to continue uh, being built during this whole coronavirus. Uh, Governor like deemed that essential which i'm glad construction you know got. you know it's funny can kind of go back to a little bit like that health worker thing these are people who are still working but it wasn't enough they had to steal like everyone else is like sitting back right 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 so yeah yeah so what's interesting is that you know it was workers stealing so um that says quite a few things it can it can and you can take it as you may what it may mean to you but for one thing usually when workers are stealing it usually means that they're unhappy with their job situation because usually if it's a good job situation you're not going to risk stealing because you have a job when a lot of us don't have jobs so usually it has to be either you know something where they really are unhappy with their job or uh, this was just a very big thing, and I think what was going where it was, you know, uh, higher up people where they found this opportunity because they said it's going on for a while, so a lot more people were involved probably than you realize, and that's why they're investigating it. Um, because otherwise, the other alternative is if, you know, a lot of people are involved and they've found a new little scheme of whoever is paying for it we can siphon off a little bit over here and make a little money on the side and I think that's what's going on uh, but in the past they've had some real disgruntled workers that um, had stolen things out of anger or um, said made some threats a couple times when we went down there there had been threats on the porta potties people had wrote th written threats <laughs> it just makes me laugh that they were on the porta potties but um so this is very interesting to to see what's going to come of this because having the FBI involved is pretty huge. But yeah, it's it, it's crazy that people would it's just kind of crazy when you, people are so greedy that they steal a, a, like especially when they have a good job you know what I mean like uh, some people steal out of necessity because maybe they don't have anything you know like they're starving or something or some people might revert to stealing it after this thing when they have no job and no home or whatever you know that's going to be a probably a problem coming in the future with some of these people that have lost their jobs but that's one thing when you steal not that it's better but it's still like a, you know you're 
it is better in a sense because you know you're doing it out of a necessity where these people it's more out of greed uh, because they already have a job they're just either thinking they didn't get enough or they found some opportunity to like oh look no one's noticing here so um, it's interesting because over the holidays they had a bunch of undercover cops there, and then they also had um, just some uh, regular cops, too, that were posted uh, to watch the scene. But what's interesting is, like, it wasn't about externally. It was all about internally because they've already been having so much thievery internally. So these big jobs are real good um, places for people to find little corners where they can steal quite a bit of money too because there's so much money flowing through these jobs and this one was already over budget so much so probably doesn't help that people have been stealing so we'll see um what more we find out but you guys we've been tracking this Raider stadium since the beginning since they first put up the sign so we 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 are excited um and we were super excited for the Raiders to come here but it's like now it's getting like crazier and crazier because it's like they keep pressing with this thing even though like now the whole world's kind of stopping we have no tourists here but it's like oh keep building the same so it's becoming kind of weird so we've kind of not talked about it as much because when everything else is shut down, it feels silly to focus on a football stadium in a way. You know what I mean? It feels kind of like a weird thing. But for Vegas, we do need it in the sense, especially with everything going on, at least they'll have that. <laughs> Jeez. But um, I was a little upset because Governor Sislek, you know, deemed... Um, construction essential but then deemed other things not essential and I'm happy he deemed construction essential it's just not fair that he didn't deem some other people's businesses essential it wasn't really like fair if you're gonna say construction because I don't really see like the medical health survival necessity of construction that's why I just don't see that where as I see it for hospitals, for grocery stores, for supplies. The, I get that, but that construction, I just didn't really get why that was essential. But I know why, because Governor says, like, this Raiders Stadium is kind of his baby. In a way, when he became governor here, this was kind of his big project with the Raiders Stadium. It was kind of part of when, why he became governor. They were all in the works for the stadium for a while now. And they didn't want it to stop. But now, it's funny how, like, when you just keep going against the force, like, they've been doing that a lot with this stadium where they won't admit things were wrong. We brought up a lot of um, points in the past of things that were wrong, like with the, the roof trusses that we found out from the workers and no one wanted to admit to these things. And then it's just kind of like they just hit, like, roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. And I feel like it's a little bit of, like, karma from the universe like if you had just from at each point kind of admitted maybe like hey some things have happened and we're a little bit delayed but like no one ever wants to talk about delay here which I don't really understand why delay is such a bad word because all delay means is hey we need to then maybe get some more crew more money to get it not delayed does that make sense? It doesn't mean it's delayed indefinitely. It just means at right now we're delayed, so let's maybe get some overtime. That's what they had to do and to hire some more crew or whatever and get more money. And then now it won't be delayed for opening. But people think, like, if they hear delay, oh, it's like, no, it's okay to be delayed. Things happen. Like, we had snow in Vegas. That was crazy. And the stadium, they couldn't work for, like, five days in the beginning of 2019. And then they've had... A lot of flooding occur because it's not the best site when it rains here, it floods. Um, we had the roof trust thing. So what happened is we talked to some of the iron workers and they put together improperly about half of the roof trusses. They put a part upside down, which didn't seem to matter because they're, they're, you know, similar. But at the very end, it was like uh, a quarter of an inch off plumb. And or an eighth of an inch, something like that, an eighth or a quarter off an inch. And um, so they had to take a truss down and then they had to uh, try to refit some of the ones in the air. 
and we were like, that doesn't seem safe because they didn't want to take them all down, so they were just fixing them while they were already mounted. We're like, shouldn't you take them now? But they didn't want to because they wanted to be like, oh, no. So then they pressed forward. This was back. And then they had this huge issue when they tried to raise the roof because of those roof trusses that were done improperly because everything was supposed to be perfect, like to a NASA ass, like a, they, they compared it to a Swiss watch when they were going to raise that roof because it was this uh, suspension roof and it, they, it needed to, they were going to raise it, raise it each day. And then at the end, it had a pop. So it had to be, everything had to be like perfect so that when it popped, it just, and when it went to go, when they, that went to happen, they ended up busting bolts and stuff, things flying off because it wasn't perfect. So then they had like five engineers come out. This was just earlier in the year. In January, we just went to the stadium of Third Boy where they had to get approval because of all that nonsense that happened at the end of the year. And um, they had five engineers, and they finally figured out this roof thing, so they got the roof up. But what a mess. Mess after mess. And then all this, this stuff over there has been police. There have been police at this site so much. It's insane. They've just been mounted there so many times when we've been out there. And they were just there the other day, so I guess they're there all the time now after what's going on with the FBI involved. This is crazy. So we'll keep you guys updated as we find out more. Um, and so you can check out our YouTube is the big place where we do our Raider stuff. So that's Jedi Rich, creative producer. So if you go on YouTube, just search Jedi Rich, and it'll come up. And that's where we do... Um, all kinds of uh, Raider stuff. We just already do a Raider theme song on there. But also go to our website. We have stadium updates. We have the Raider theme song. So our website is JediRich.com. But that's where we uh, are mostly. So if you ever, if we, because we jump in and out of social media platforms, we also get <laughs> blocked and shut down, suspended, or whatever. And, oh gosh, I don't even know I should talk about this because I feel like it get our thing flagged or something, but, um, yeah, one of our nemesis for a while that was trolling us just got his account finally taken down for, I think Twitter is finally starting to, um, kind of like not allow so much of the nastiness. So if you just have an account just full of like, all you do is just go troll and be nasty. I think they're starting to kind of I bust down on that a little bit more because that's what this guy's account was and for years he'd been messing with us and then we found out today that they finally suspended his account um so that was good news in the sense of I feel like Twitter is looking into like some people just spend their entire day just being negative and nasty to people on social media and I don't think that's what social media needs to be I think it's social media it should be more like a platform where everyone um, you know gets a chance to give their opinion but not in a nasty way where it's like discussions I think that was like the idea but now it's just like you suck fuck you man 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 say nasty stuff about people's appearance and stuff and it's like it's just become like this really childish thing and um, uh, some people they just love the negativity and they just feed off the negativity but you can also feed off a of positivity it doesn't have to be all negative. So, Chad Rich is opening the door because I probably started rambling about something unrelated, but anyway. He doesn't read the comments, he says. He read the comments, they're just not, we filter the comments. <laughs> Make a comment that's interesting and we'll read it. The reason why I don't read the comments is because comments tend to, people try to distract the people, and I used to do it, and then it was like just nonsense comments the whole time, you're like, forget it. It's so too hard for her, so what well, I did is I kind of read them, and I'm like, okay. Because no. most of them, it's gotten better, but you guys, we did Periscope a couple years ago when they didn't have that thing where people could vote, and it was just, you would get flooded with just so much crap, and it would be so distracting of just people just calling you names the whole time, which you try to ignore, but it'd be like, it, it was hard when some of the stuff comes through because people can be so nasty, that's kind of what I was talking about, but it's not as bad now, but Jerry Rich still does, just because when we're trying to talk about something, it's just distracting, so anyways, guys. Catch you later. That's the update.
I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. I'm not confused. I'm not confused. I'm a grown man business. I'm not in school. Put your hand down, youngin'. This is not for you. I'm a jail, my deep with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the market, your name off the payroll. Style fresh. It's like I'm still a day old, and it's been like that since the day, yo. On more time than a Rolly or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get out, get down. Get down. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out.